All right, guys, part three. Here we go. Yes. And your mom. Oh. Why are you recording the TV set? Oh, Just one, nothing else. Fire is moving quickly. The winds are pushing it. Uh, cover. Just cookie. Just cookie. Um. Um. This is what we also just. Ventura County Fire. This is the graph. We're looking at these flames that seem to be threatening at least one major structure. This guy's probably on the phone all day. Got their evaluation notice already. <laughs> so these birds are just evacuating because they got evacuated from their nest. <laughs> Shout out to this guy. Shout out to this guy. The chief. Oh, Captain Brian McGrath. Shout out to this guy. Shout out to Captain McGrath. Thank you, Captain. He's the captain of the fire department. I mean, not of the whole fire department. I guess like, it's not one of the fire departments. I don't know. If you know him, comment down below which one he's in charge of. Or the captain of. Thanks. Is there any particular area that you feel is uh, your immediate focus in terms of trying to save structures or prepare a structure uh, in, in terms of structure protection, getting your resources deployed around a particular structure, a particular neighborhood right now? Well, right now when the fire is blowing through, we do have a multitude of engines that are within the area that are directly protecting structures as, as we speak. And when we show up right now, we do an observation of that structure. And if those people have taken the time to prepare their house and do the work before we get there, then that gives us a chance to even start protecting it. Can you tell us about the difficulty of, for firefighters when people don't evacuate or leave the neighborhood when they're asked to do so? We know that that complicates 
Like you said, people need to do what they need God to do. I swear to God, just do not. not oh. Start the firefight. And I would imagine that means getting out of the way. Guys, I swear to God, if you get back with that, leave yeah, immediately. Well, I don't care about your safety. Hashtag, oh, you come down with a hashtag safety. Uh, fire truck. I should know, what is that? Oh, it's safety truck. I don't know what that is. Uh, 
Shout out to the sky coming down below. Thank you, Captain Brian McGrath. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. 729 is the time. Uh, Mark Christie is here looking at the weather. Mark, we have been seeing these images of these winds just whipping through these hillsides on fire. Um, what can you tell us about the weather throughout the day? We all know this is one of the biggest wind events that we've seen. It, it, it seems like it's just been building. Yeah. Each one has been stronger than the past, and, uh, and it seems like every second day uh, or every two days we get one. Uh, and uh, here we are. We talked about this, and uh, here it is right now. This definitely is the strongest one. You can see it's evident by just the speed and the rain, uh, rate of those flames moving and spreading all the way across from the hills and into the Simi Valley. And Simi Valley, Wall Park, those areas, Thousand Oaks, still quite a distance away. See me valley, but you can see they're right in the middle of the purple area where wind gusts are uh, above 50 miles per hour, possibly. And uh, we uh, uh, reported some wind gusts uh, last hour at 55 miles an hour, and they are picking up. Winds could be picking up all the way through this afternoon, so it's not uh, that they'll go down a little bit after the sun comes up. They will continue to pick up, hopefully peaking by 4 o'clock, and then after that, the, uh, the wind should start to uh, die down and abate. Here it is, we're putting it into motion by 4.30, uh, Thursday morning actually. It's still quite windy all the way through that particular area in Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks. And then when you pull out a little bit, there's Thursday, 11 o'clock at night, and uh, earlier in the evening, the trick or treaters will be out, but it'll still be quite windy. Fire weather warning, and this is now an extreme fire weather warning. Well, That's on until tomorrow, six o'clock at night, for all of the areas pretty well of Southern California right there. Uh, Ventura County didn't seem to be included in that. And look at all that smoke. And it is blowing from the east to the west. Huh. That is the way the winds are blowing. Humidity starting to drop off also. And uh, you can expect the temperatures to be on the rise. Temperatures won't be a big factor in all of this, as the uh, numbers will probably be topping off in the 70s. But the main story, low humidity and the strong, strong, powerful winds from the northeast moving towards the northwest. That's it. All right, uh, Mark, uh, Ginger Chan uh, is with us. Uh, Ginger, I understand there's a new closure. Yeah, so we want to make sure everyone knows that we've already talked about the 23 being closed in both directions to change. Los Angeles Avenue and Arbolas, or the official name is East Avenue de Los Angeles Arbolas, okay? So it's to the south. That is closed. They have also shut down, so those are all the main lines. They shut down all the on-ramps, so they don't want you to get onto the 23, obviously. And then leaving the off-ramps open, but that could change here in a little bit. last thing they want you to do is get off the freeway and then run right into the fire zone. So those are some of the things that have changed. They've added those. 
slightly to the west of the 23 is Moore Park Road. So we'll just go with the closure between Tierra Rajada over to Santa Rosa. So I think some people thought maybe I could take Moore Park Road as an alternate since it runs parallel to the 23. You can't do that, it's closed. And then the other closure that the CHP has just added would be any connector road off the 118 that connects you to the 23. So 118 east and westbound connector roads to the 23 south, which eventually will be less than the 118 to Avenue right. So those are some additional closures to what we discussed earlier, uh, not only for the streets, but to the 23. Anything connecting you off the 118 to the, the 23 is closed. The main lines, the on-ramps of the 23 are closed between Los Angeles Avenues over to Avenida de los Arboles, and then a little bit to the west, running parallel mm -hmm. Moore Park Road between Santa Rosa Road and Tierra Rajada, that is shut down as well. So all of that is a pretty big deal. You guys want to make sure that we have that updated information for everybody. And as it changes, as the admiral closures, we'll make sure that we're getting everybody updated information. I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Ginger. Ginger, thank you. Uh, Lynette Romero is on the scene, I believe, um, just arrived there. Lynette, what can you tell us about what you're seeing? Good morning. Here's Lynette. Good morning, Jessica. We came from Santa Clarita, and we just wanted to get to a vantage point that we could show you, at least from the ground, what the conditions are like. And I, I can tell you that the wind probably couldn't be any worse than it is right now. You can see behind me, there's fire on that hillside. You see below it, uh, there's, there's, there are houses. That's a community there. That's the neighborhood. But just to the right of that, you can see that there are flames just kind of leaping up against that hillside, about ready to cross over that. Go back up on the ridge, Dan. You can see their helicopters dropping. Everything uh, okay? Water drops there. Okay, good. Uh, we've seen a number of them. We've only been here for just a couple of minutes. We've seen a number of water drops already. So clearly they're attacking this fire uh, from the air. We do know that there are at least 25 engines that are down on the ground. On our way here, uh, there were a couple of intersections that were uh, out of light. So there's power that is out. So there are no stoplights uh, working. People are just really having to slow down. Uh, we want to remind people that there are mandatory evacuations going on right now. Alright, so that's, that's, so that's enough for this problem. That's to my problem better because just in case, if the power goes out for me, I need to keep battery safe for me because the kids have been making emergency calls, alright? And anyway, guys, be safe. Oh, let me just go and buy you what you need to have in case you're evacuated. Please make sure you have your prescriptions, uh, photos that cannot be replaced, um, pets, passports, up. Uh, Papers, uh, house papers, anything you need, such as maybe in clothes, food for a couple of days, maybe a couple of toys for the other ones. I don't know. Make sure you guys have enough crap. Not crap sorry, stuff. Make sure you have enough stuff before you guys get out of your neighborhood. Because you sure you guys do. Just make sure you have enough to you grab a couple jackets, jackets, beanies, gloves, uh, sweaters, coats. Uh, anything you need, even not the poor, like, such as, like I said, um, I'll give some examples, like, prescriptions, passports, pets, kids, parent, grandparents, who are living with you, grab everything you need, uh, blankets, um, anything you need, uh, stuff if you can't place it, where do I place it, hold on, screen, my Elton John glasses, okay, hey, y'all, Elton John, uh, like I said, these fires, uh, this is the one, probably one of the worst fires we've ever had, I used to live in Seattle, my original, my former address was 625, kids would away in here, B, please go to the house, because I don't live there, but I know I shouldn't be that, but, I can trust you, doesn't have to go there, so, comment down below, be sure you can watch part one, two, and this is the third one, I got to see battery, because if I, if my phone died, if the power was out for me, it would be pretty bad. Here's a little more princess for you. Say hi. Let me know you guys are up, okay? So, anyway, tell what's going on right now. We don't have school today. We don't have school today. Because, in fact, that's just going to eat all the crap. Whoa. That is one of my medications, and luckily my dog did not eat this. Holy cow. That. Comment down below. Thank, thank God I found this. It's a pill. Hi, pill. So, say good morning to the vlog. And we're just letting them know that they need to make sure that they have everything that they need. So, Taylor, you know when, so Taylor, you need to make sure they say, so you know what they need to grab? Make sure they have to grab. Someone comes to the door and says, you need to be evacuated. 
And what you do is if you have two in one cars, you don't use your suitcases. You don't. They take up a bunch of room and then you can't and then you can't hold them. You put your stuff in the car, no suitcases. And then if you have two cars, open up the back seat and separate if you have kids. One, the kids stuffed animals and clothes in that car, and then um, the parents stuff in that car. If you want fit in two cars, or, so if, if you're going to your grandparents' house, have like your dad or mom drive to there, drop off the stuff, come back so you can reload the trunk. And if you can, try to put stuff in the kids' back seat where they're sitting. Okay, and make sure to grab your fire extinguishers. Bye. Like I said, you guys, make sure you guys grab your prescriptions, passports, park paperwork, house paperwork, um, everything like that. Hold on. Car crash, everything like that. Here we go. Lost my veil. Um, but due to the fact that these weathers are terrible, you need to make sure you guys have everything you need because due to the fact I carry your safety, like I said, uh, prescriptions, passports, um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy uh, um, Especially you guys are safe. The vibes are pretty bad. Yeah, uh, for Halloween people, happy Halloween. Safe cards. Yeah. We have my little pumpkin I carved. Okay. And we're going to carve these bad boys today. Mine is a little cool long stem because I like long stems. And then I have a tiny little one. Again, like I said, like I said, grab, grab medication. For prescriptions. Uh, f photos, photos of your family that cannot be replaced. Pat, grab your pets and family, everything you need, and put paper. Just grab it. Just, just make sure you guys are safety. Make sure you guys are safe. If you guys want to see that area, comment down below. Say hashtag. Say comment down below. Comment hashtag. I be evacuated and I'm safe. Comment down below. Hashtag. I'm not evacuated yet. Let me know. Yes. Yes. Okay, I will show up. Um, I just want to make sure that if you guys comment down below, hashtag if you evacuate, if you've been in this fire, comment down below, say hashtag I evacuated, but I'm safe. Comment down below, say I'm about to evacuate and I'm going to be going somewhere safe. Comment down, comment down below, hashtag I have not evacuated yet and I don't think I'm going to evacuate, but let me know. Comment down below. Is it more morning? Make sure you guys grab your pets. Yay! And if you guys have fish and you can't uh, transport them very easily if they're in a big tank, use the little um, Let's see if you pets more. So comment I guess said comment down below say hashtag comment down below saying hey comment down below uh fire safe comment down below Fire, I can get back with comment down below. I have not been hashtag, I have not been back with comment down below. Okay, if you guys watch this video, comment down below that you let me know that you are back with it so I know that you're safe. I leave you a thumbs up and I will hardly comment make sure you guys are all safe because I care about your safety as well. You know, a lot of people don't, well, I don't know if this is true, but I don't think a lot of you fans, a lot of you do care about the fans. I don't know if they care. Um, I am one of those people who care about your safety. So, if you're in the area, so let's try it out. You guys are safe. Comment down below. Comment down below saying, uh, Sorry, I had to sneeze if you heard that. <laughs> comment down below saying, uh, safety first. Comment down below, fire 2019. Comment down below, house. Pictures, comment down below. Grab your stuffed animals. If they need a picture, they can be replaced. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna leave here. Your keys. Okay, right. yeah, make sure you guys grab everything you need. Also, guys, uh, make sure you don't leave glass. No, the only thing only glass. Make sure you guys grab everything. Don't leave glass. If you guys get evacuated, grab everything you need and as you can. If you and, get evacuated, don't try not 
to leave the glass. Because if the firefighters like go in your house to stop the fire, they can get hurt. And we don't want to hurt anybody here. No. Also guys, also guys, comment down below that seems comment down below hashtag twenty fire fires twenty nineteen baby. Or Make sure to grab like new sworn band aid so when you're in the process of doing that stuff. Uh, on, on, you can uh, fix yourself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it up here. I'll be in chat. Alright, guys, like I said, um, the fires have been pretty bad, but we're trying to make sure things safe. We gotta make sure you guys have everything you need. Like I said, uh, pictures that can't be replaced, um, photo, uh, paperwork, important paperwork, um, pictures that cannot be replaced, passports, prescriptions, and everything like that. If the fire is getting pretty bad, well, I'll probably follow me for part four. If you miss, check out feet. These turn you on. Oh, okay. Boom. Or you can pause it and do whatever you want to. I don't care. So, yeah, so check out this turns you on. Great. I don't care. Um, so, the other part of the part, we're trying to make sure everyone's safe and sound. Comment down below saying, comment hashtag, I am safe. And, you, and I have evacuated. Comment down below saying, I have not evacuated yet, but I will. I am going to evacuate soon. Comment down below saying, hashtag, I am not evacuated. And the fire is nowhere near me. And then I'll let you guys give it a thumbs up. Hold it. If I don't get to it today, I'll get it other than anytime soon as possible. Because I can't look at my comments anymore. I don't know why. It pisses me off. So I have to do what's on another thing. Um. Let's make sure you guys know. Oh, I can't show this because I can't show this because you know, if people's parents are cops, then I'm doing my ass kicked. I'm not sure that on camera. Anyway, guys, but guys, please, make sure, please, guys, make sure you guys are safe. Um, this is a good twist going up for 26, 26 minutes. So, just if you guys watch the news, make sure you guys are safe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And I will maybe the review pit path for the rest of the night. Oh, you guys, make sure you guys have a great day. Be safe, do not die, and have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Maybe a little bit later. Bye.